Hello, welcome to Interactive Studios. My name is DJ Beavis and today we are showcasing Anthem. We are playing on the Xbox One X. Now, Anthem is Xbox One X enhanced. It's native 4K and HDR and uh, it does look absolutely amazing. I've been looking forward to showing this off and uh, we're uh, very happy to be uh, showcasing this game for you today. Now, if you do have any questions, please do put it in chat. Um, more than happy to answer any questions you may have in regards to the game and if you are on one of our retailer websites please do remember you can click on that chat icon so you can interact with us live but also if you're looking forward to purchasing Anthem today uh, definitely make sure you go to our about page we have some awesome tiles there that you can click on and uh, basically purchase a copy of Anthem today as well um, and please do check your favorite retailer the game is available as of today and uh, it does look absolutely amazing morning Asha morning Darren thank you for joining us and thank you everyone for uh, being here this morning now guys please do stick around we're going to be giving away a one month code for EA access we've also got a one month gold code as well too to give away so uh, we're going to be doing a couple of giveaways today so we'll do those a little bit later so please make sure that you are sticking around and that you tune in um, and uh, like I said if you've got any questions please do ask away now so with Anthem you basically unleash the power of your uh, javelin suit and uh, the game does look absolutely amazing so uh, which is good and uh, it is powered by the frostbite engine and uh, we've been looking forward to showing this off so uh, which is good. Well, Darren, you get to tune in and um, enjoy the show, <laughs> which is good. So, uh, which is awesome. So, yeah. So, uh, so the game you discover a um, a gripping story in Anthem, um, which is part of Fort Taris, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to this. Now, uh, the um, the Anthem uh, beta a couple of weeks ago was absolutely amazing and uh, definitely uh, been waiting for this now you can play up to four players so uh, it is four player online um, so if you've got uh, three other players that can play with you um, you can all go in together and uh, play as each of the javelins so you've got a colossus javelin you've got the interceptor javelin you've also got the ranger javelin and the storm javelin as well too uh, which is pretty cool so yeah which is awesome all right let's uh, let's get this started and uh, check this out. <laughs> now you've got six different rarities for weapons. Um, so uh, you've got common, uncommon, uh, you've got rare, epic, uh, you've also got uh, masterwork and legendary. Now it is highly recommended that after each mission that you go back to the forge and that you do check uh, on what you've unlocked because um, you never know you could have unlocked an awesome uh, legendary uh, piece of uh, p equipment for your weapon. Uh, which is pretty cool. So, um, and you do have to level up your javelin suit as well too. Um, so your first unlock you get when you get to level two. Your second unlock's at level eight. Your third unlock is at level sixteen, and your fourth unlock is at level twenty-six in the game. So, uh, which is pretty exciting. So I'm definitely uh, looking forward to leveling up my suit. <laughs> we live in a dangerous world. The gods who built it vanished, leaving behind their instruments that aimlessly reshaped the land. These ancient relics harness an unknowable force we call the Anthem of Creation. But the Anthem refuses to be controlled. To survive, our ancestors invented the Javelins and built cities with great walls. Nice. Today, it falls to a dedicated group of heroes to face the chaos, protect our homes, and fight for our very survival. We are freelancers. Yeah. <laughs> we head on into danger, rescuing the lost, keeping the monsters at bay, and silencing the Anthem's terrible cataclysms. But, not all cataclysms are created equal. And even freelancers are wary of the untamed power of the Anthem. How cool is that? This is it. Close as we get with the Striders. Agreed. Looks like we fly from here. Alec, you hear that? 
All teams, get ciphers and their amplifiers. Let's go! Freelancer! We're a long way from the Cenotaph, and the storm is worse than we thought. Okay, this is as close as we're gonna get to the center without the strider getting ripped to shreds. Let's go, freelancers. Suit up! How crazy will this get? No idea. Never tried to shut down a cataclysm this big. Oh, steady, Faye. None of us come out of this alive without our cipher. Stay safe out there. Yeah. Remember, we're a team. I'm right there with you. Oh, interesting. Oh. Okay, Freelancer. You might be new, but you won't be here if you didn't show promise. Hey, Alec, what's up? Waiting for it to die down out there? Let's go! Uh, I thought you could use a head start. See you at the Cenotaph. We're heading out. Okay, everyone. Let's stop this cataclysm from growing. From killing everything. I don't know, Alec. I haven't seen uh, anything like this before. Look, everyone. I won't be here if I thought this storm could beat me, right? Oh, the rage is no different than the hundreds of other shaper ruins we've dealt with. It's just bigger. This is what we do. So we're gonna go in there and we're gonna take on whatever unholy beast it spits at us, and we're going to tame that thing together. Let's Hell do yeah. it. Yeah. Ready, Captain One? Ooh, ready. Strong along, stronger together. Nice. <laughs> How come he gets the bigger suit? <laughs> My suit looks so tiny. <laughs> Ready? Set. Let's go! What an entrance. <laughs> Freelancer, thank goodness you survived, but your javelin needs a restart. I'll bring systems back one at a time. Starting voice recognition. Ooh, okay. So, left trigger female voice, right trigger male voice. Ooh, let's go with uh, right trigger. <laughs> Bad fall. How's your head? You remember the mission? I think so. Where am I? You're in a cataclysm. Terrible storm. Wow. With the heart of rage. You see, cut the little bit of damage. Right? So, okay, cool. Alright, so this is the Cortex shortcut. So, you can enter the Cortex from any menu. If you want more information, you return to the menu after seeing the Cortex. That is cool. Still have the Senate tap on our map. But we're basically flying blind here. Oh wow. Okay, so interesting. My entire team is down. Me. The tracking challenges. Select the challenge and press X to track its progress under the tracked challenges. Alright, so that's pretty cool. So you can track your challenges. Um, and then you've got your journal as well. Oh, nice. Keep playing to reveal this challenge. Okay. Alright. So, pretty cool. Nice. Hold on. What else was it? So. Alright, so you've got critical objectives. Titan reference. <laughs> Yeah, just a little bit. It's pretty cool. So, uh, Silence of the Heart of Rage. So you're an inexperienced right, freelancer along with freelancers Pollock, Adir and Miller. You join the mission to silence a dangerous cataclysm called the Heart of Rage. 
This cataclysm has been churning for eight years. Wow, that's a long time. And threatens Bastion. Under the guidance of the, the Cypher Fae, you must reach the shape of relic at the center of the storm and silence. Wow, okay, that's cool. Alright, let's have a look at the library. Okay, so we've got society. So freelancers. So independent lancers who choose to follow General Tar Tarsus and the path of valor. Wow. Okay. Cool. I'm looking for advice. What's the other one? And, and we've got ciphers as well too. So ciphers are individuals with sensitive sensitivity of to the anthem of creation. Wow. Okay. So. Thanks, Pax. <laughs> All right, so we've got uh, our fauna. So, tell us. Uh, we'll distract this titan while you move on. Wow, you can you can learn a lot about the game from your uh, from the shortcuts here, which is pretty cool. Definitely like this. It's actually really good. All right, so elements. Anthem of Creation, Cataclysms. So the Cataclysm is a violent, unpredictable disturbance created within when the Anthem of Creation overwhelms a shaper instrument. They often appear as an intense storm. Wow, that sounds cool. Alright, so, uh, and then the Shapers. What's the Shaper? So, Enzu. World Enzu is a group term for any creature formed at the dawn of creation, not of the natural world. Okay. Sounds, uh, Gee, look behind you. Pretty Never interesting. mind, they're left. Hard yeah, left, hard left. Striders. Wow, there's a lot of stuff to learn in the game. Right, let's keep going. Your suit is still critical. Yeah. Grab a repair pack when you can. What's the mailbox? Request for parchment. <laughs> All right. And there's a tutorial section there too, so uh, you can learn a little bit of the game as well. You've got so a bit of a time cool. to catch up. Halleck? Yep. He's up and heading your way. How's it going back there? What's your ETA? Don't know. Bay? Not too far. Just... Oh, no, sorry. Can't talk. Be right back. What's going <laughs> on? So we'll pick up the repair pack. Good. Now you have partial boosters at least. Yay! So pushing Team, in on that thumbstick and making that. Team, the this last search are flying blind? Never mind that, Alec. We've got a Titan. Holy crap. Miller, get your head in the Fighting game. Done Hurry up, Berkey. We can use the help. On my way. Hang tough, everyone. Bay, I've got debris blocking my path. Part of the Dominion Strider. From when they attack the city. Those fuel canisters are explosive, by the way. Yeah, let's play these fuel canisters. Excellent. Press up on your D-pad, you'll all activate your ultimate ability. Many casualties. Three losses down. Cyphers in comas. Comas? From hearing the anthem. How are you doing, Faye? Are you okay? So far? But I can hear it too. Oh. Scorpions. <laughs> no flight boosters yet. Um, so generally if you press on your uh, your left thumb stick while you jump in the air, you actually can activate your boosters, like your flying boosters. It uh, helps you uh, fly around the map. Hey Miller, I found your Titan. This cataclysm is creating a mighty handful. Faye, still there? Yes. We've got down three lances ahead, sending distress signals. They're the ones from Strider 2. Their javelins need repair. Get them moving. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, so we're gonna repair the uh. Hey, uh how are you doing? You tell me. 
to get a couple of the devil to do it. Pressing RB will use your ultimate, which is the uh, missiles. <laughs> nice. Can use the XP from the uh, corner scorpions. SLB will throw a grenade. Great question, Asha. We have to cipher. So, alright, so to learn about stuff in the game, you can easily just press back on your, uh, Never mind. On your D pad there. The oh, sorry, back on your, um, the controller. Gotcha. So press the two, uh, the two square buttons. But, uh, so the ciphers are there. So the ciphers are your, uh, Individuals with sensitivity to the anthem of creation are capable of telepathic communication and heightened mental calculation. Many young people are identified as having this unique gift, undergo uh, ember exposure, and dedicated training to enhance their mental skills. When a cipher abilities first appeared, Corvus uh, sought to use these individuals for covert uh, purposes. So, uh, which is pretty interesting. So, they're. Uh, Intr they're individuals, um, so uh, which are sensitive to the anthem. So it's pretty cool. It's rather interesting, man. So there you go. It's cool. So if you press the uh, the two squares on your controller, so the select button, um, basically you will uh, you'll be able to go through this little menu here, and you'll be able to look at your library. And you can learn a little bit about the game, so the environment that you're in, the technology. Uh, there's a bunch of tutorials as well that you can uh, look at as well. So you can see here we've got Scorpion, which are the six-legged killing machines that we've been fighting. Um, so you can read up a little bit about them uh, and learn a little bit of a background. Uh, so if you want to do a little bit of research and uh, learn a little bit more about Anthem, you can uh, easily access this menu and uh, learn about the game, which is really cool. So you've got your Striders here. Striders are the bloodstream of... Bastion, they used to transport people, resources, and vital supplies. That's cool. So the Striders are like your uh, transport ships, and uh, it's rather interesting that. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's have a look at tutorials. All right, so obviously you can go through, you can learn how to play. So you can learn about your uh, your moving, flying, swimming, health and damage, combinations and effects, ranger hints, uh, storm hints as well, uh, colossus hints. So you can learn about the colossus and uh, you intercept the hints as well too, so, uh, which is really cool. So you've got the Colossus Javelin, you've got your uh, Inceptor Javelin, you've got your uh, Ranger Javelin, and then the uh, Storm Javelin as well. Uh, and you can learn a little bit about uh, each of those Javelins. It's actually pretty cool, I like that. Uh, it really goes in depth in uh, what the uh, Javelins do. So the storm has a single jump capability. Storm ultimate is an elemental storm. So uh, at full power, activate by pressing up to become immune to damage and master elements firing RT will conjure an electrical or elemental storm at a targeted location. So the ranger has a double jump and uh, basically the ranger's ultimate is micro missiles at full power, activate, pressing up 
uh, on the D-pad to identify and paint all threats in target area and then fire RT to release a barrage of missiles at all targets. That's pretty cool. So uh, we're playing as a Ranger at the moment, uh, which is pretty interesting. And then the Colossus has a double jump capability, hold A on either jump to increase air time and quickly re-engage, A to trigger a quick boost to reach maximum altitude much faster. And then the Colossus ultimate is Siege Cannons. Uh, at full power, the Colossus can deploy a massive collapsible cannon that fires uh, with the RTE powerful explosive shells with devastating results. <laughs> that is cool. I like that. Might have to uh, definitely check out the Colossus later. And then the Interceptor has a triple jump capability. Hold A to increase the air time of your first jump. Second and third jumps have set heights. Interceptor's ultimate is Assassin's Blades at full power activate with the uh, up on the D-pad to empower blades. Striking at enemies while empowered with the right trigger and Y button will leave after images that continue to do damage even after the Interceptor has moved to the next threat. That is actually really good. I like that. All right, so building your javelins, as I was explaining before, so your, your level of unlocking uh, javelins. Um, so you uh, get your second unlock at level two. Oh, sorry, first unlock at level two, then your second at level eight. And uh, it's really interesting. So uh, javelins appearance can be customized using the forge. New paint jobs and appearance options can be applied to suits, giving them a unique flair and style. And then we've got items in the vault. So all collected items are found in Fort Taras, Tarsus. And uh, repository. Ah, tongue twister that one. Uh, loot, receive loot by uh, successfully completing missions uh, from sources like defeated enemies and treasure chests, which we've been noticing. So you can, uh, we've been getting a lot of ammo from uh, fighting the scorpions. And then pilot level rewards. There you go. So level two, here we go. So pilot levels up. By earning experience points at various levels, a variety of awards are unlocked, including forge slots, match consumables, and new javelins. Javelin unlocks are account based. That's pretty cool. So, level two new javelin unlocked, like I was explaining. Uh, weapon suit unlocked, weapon slot unlocked at level three. Component slot unlocked at level four. Level five is support slot unlocked. Component slot unlocked at level six. New javelins uh, unlocked at level eight. Um, consumable uh, slot at level 10, level 12 component, level 14 component again. It's uh... <laughs> Thanks Asha. <laughs> New javelin unlocked again at level 16, level 18 is component slot unlocked. We've got consumable slot unlocked at level 20, level 23 is component slot again. Level 26, new javelin unlocked, and then consumable slot unlocked, and then Grandmaster difficulty is unlocked at level 30. Wow, that's cool. So you get two unlocks at level 30, uh, which is really interesting. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if we can get to level 30. So new javelins account unlocked at levels 2, 8, 16, and 26, like I was explaining. Visit the forge and choose between the Ranger, Colossus, Storm, or Interceptor. New javelins come equipped with common starting items based on the pilot's current level. That's pretty cool. And then upgrading at the forge. So like I was expl explaining before, at the end of every mission, make sure that you do go back to the forge because you never know what you're going to unlock. Like I said, there's six, uh, um, six uh, weapon um, levels in the game. So you've got uh, your common, uncommon, rare, uh, your uh, epic, masterwork, and also legendary as well too, So, uh, which is really rather interesting. Expeditions, contracts, people you meet in Fort Tarsus will sometimes need your help. Yeah, which we, which is done by contracts. We've seen that before. Short-term boost can be crafted on launch platform that can grant bonus of single expeditions. First slot opens at level 10, level 20, and level 30. So basically crafting blueprints. More blueprints can be unlocked by completing challenges. Okay. Uh, free play. Free play allows you to explore far reaches of Bastion on your own terms, whether it's fulfilling contracts outside of Fort Tarsus or exploring the jungle for resources. So uh, it's pretty cool. So it looks like it has like a linear across uh, sandbox uh, gameplay, uh, which is actually pretty cool uh, within free play. That's a good idea that, that's pretty cool. So you may encounter world events, gather plants and mineral resources needed for crafting. Free play cannot be experienced privately. Okay, interesting. 
and the new missions are story-based encounters that allow players to experience the danger and drama of being a freelancer in Bastion. There's no shortage of threats to uh, Fort Tarsus. <laughs> Interesting. Strongholds are some of the most challenging expeditions for freelancers. Ah. And then growing your legends. Uh, your uh, alliance system. Your alliance consists of players on your friends list and anybody you've played with recently. Each week the XP they earn by playing Anthem can generate coin for, for you through the alliance system. Oh wow, okay, so you can form an alliance. So only your top five contributors could count towards your tier. Friends get bonuses to their contributions, which are larger if, you play, if you've played a mission with them. That's kind of a good idea. I like that idea. Complete challenges unlock special rewards such as blueprints for javelin upgrades at forge, at the forge, javelin appearance options, or coins. Okay. So your feet, your fates are uh, on their adventures. Uh, freelancers can perform fates in honor of the legionnaires who fought uh, alongside General Tarsus. Uh, each fate uh, builds a lancer's reputation and uh, provides valuable experience. Wow. Pilot level, uh, pilot level up by earning experience. High rarity items are dropped more frequently and have increased power levels. Inscriptions are more numerous and powerful. Hmm. And we got shards. Shards are premium and, uh, currency earned by completing challenges and the weekly uh, path to glory. Wow. Okay, so that's pretty good. So it's always good to go through the tutorial uh, so you can learn a little bit of a background into the game. And uh, you sort of learn like how your javelin levels up as well too, and your pilot skills. Your flight systems aren't working yet. Of course they're not. <laughs> How close am I, Faye? Hey, oh, you don't want to fall down there. The it wants to consume me, to show me. Oh, no, no! Ah, oh, get out of there! <laughs> I'm sorry, the whole team from Strider 3 is gone. <laughs> Strider 14 is in retreat. If they make it, mission seems doomed. How far back? <laughs> the out of the way. I'll do it. I can't believe I did that. I said I wasn't going to, and I fell into the lava. I jumped too far. <laughs> uh. Hurry up! Where are you? I'm trying. I swear. It's all wrong. It's all done. Come back. Retreat. I. How do they, they fly? I can hear the anthem of creation. Hey! Are we supposed to fall back? We're fine. We push on. Right then? I'm in. I'm in. Multi-kill, nice. Right, here we go. Rookie, there you are. Get in here. Faye's calling a retreat. Oh. We got this. Almost there. wants to fight these things. <laughs> uh. D 
during the failed attempt to silence the heart of rage, we lost more than freelancers, more than friends and comrades. We lost the faith of the people we protect. So the freelancers scattered, searching for ways to redeem themselves. The few who remained carried on, finding new allies where they could. Doing their best to help a people who no longer called the freelancers heroes. So I wonder what's in the repository. That'd be interesting. How about the coordinates, Owen? Impressive entrance, as usual. Nice to be appreciated. Ah, don't sell yourself <laughs> short, mate. It's like I couldn't ask for any better partner. You could ask, but not many of us left. The relay's a short flight away. Easy contract so far. Easy keeps you alive. Wouldn't call this a living. Inspecting sensors every month. Yeah, pays the bills. Not exactly the freelancer motto. Yeah, well, until the freelancers are back on their feet, we can enjoy all the gorgeous scenery Bastion has to offer. Flying around it is even better. <laughs> Now I'm jealous, sitting here in the fort. So like I was saying guys, uh, if you're pushing the left thumb stick, uh, you'll fly around. Uh, as long as your, uh, your suit's able to. Jigsy, what's going on buddy? To dive steeply, uh, uh, to uh, there's the relay, just needs a hard reset. <laughs> a chew, <laughs> uh, it's too funny, man. It's too funny. I feel you, man. I feel you. <laughs> this should get the early warning network back up. Uh, Good, that did it. You'll need to manually check the sensors now. First one's nearby. Oh, maybe grab some supplies before you go. Might come in handy. Jungle's full of useful stuff. So we're actually in the jungle at the moment, but uh, just having a quick look around, just to make sure that we're not missing anything. What are those blue things over there? Is that those? No. No. What are those things? Any freelancers been through here lately? You're the first in months. Maps for this area are sketchy. I love the creatures. The creatures are nice. The uh, flying in the suit is very uh, nice itself. Very easy to control. It's not hard at all. I'm going into the ravine. Controls are very smooth. Oh, there's the first sensor. I need you to access it. So what I mean by looking around, uh, you can find some cool stuff and uh, you need it to craft as well. So you got to make sure that you do cra grab it. So we've got some chimeric alloy. So when chi chimeric compound is compressed with existing minerals over a long period of time, the result is chi chimeric alloy. Uh, though not as strong or as volatile as amber, it will give you a small charge when first handled. Alloy, the alloy is commonly used in crafting of household appliances, strider consoles, oculates, Light bulbs and of course decorative paint. Oh nice. Ah <laughs> make sure we grab more of that. <laughs> and paint our javelin. Um and then chimeric, chimeric compounds. So when the uh, catalysmic catalysmic uh residue is uh, absorbed by plants through the soil, they collect the in the plant as a chimeric compound. Cool. 
such as gold thread, doorknob polish, soles of shoes, and notably flavorful in grabbit stew. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That's cool. So, uh, soles of shoes, eh? <laughs> and then ripstream. What's a ripstream? Strong wind, that, strong wind that limits the height of the javelin propulsion. Ripstream can also be experienced when one leaps from a cliff only to enter a vague greyness, then arrive suddenly near when, where one started. That's pretty cool. That's interesting, that. So you've got to be careful of which, the ripstreams. Interesting. Alright, so it looks like the freelancer began in a disaster. An endeavor launched to tame the heart of rage, which is true. And uh, pretty much two of the javelins passed away. We lost two javelins in that mission. Who's Owen? Owen Corley. So Owen is a cipher who works out of the freelance uh, enclave in Fort Tarsus, a small town on the frontier in uh, Bastion. Born into poverty, he was sent for cipher training at a young age. Ooh. So Owen Corley. Interesting. All right, let's continue on. Thanks again, everyone, for joining us. Like I said, uh, please don't go anywhere. Uh, if you do have any questions, please do put it in chat. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have in regards to Anthem. If you are on one of our retailer websites, uh, please do click on the chat icon. And please don't go anywhere. We are going to be giving away uh, a one-month EA Access code. Um, and uh, we've also got a one-month Xbox Live code to give away a little bit later as well too. So uh, definitely uh, stick around. And uh, if you've got any questions, definitely do ask away. Stick close so I can get a reading on the Shaper Energy. Nice. Hang on. I'm detecting movement. Looks like scorpions. Oh, nice. Oh, here we go. Scorpions are riled up. When aren't they? Probably haven't tasted fresh freelancer in a while. Won't be today. Aha! It fits them. Sorry, you need to stay near the sensor so I can get a reading. Yeah, hold on. I want to grab some minerals. <laughs> I want these minerals. Press light for a melee you attack, that's cool. Ah, uh, so you've got to wait for it to charge that. Yeah, interesting. Hang in there, I'm still waiting for a reading. Owen! Oh, I saw it! <laughs> Being a javelin. <laughs> uh. All right, readings are coming through. Uh, what? It's mostly normal. Mostly? This is the early warning system. If it's detecting something... Yeah, no sign of shaper energy. Head to the next sensor. Oh, oh waterfall ahead if you want to call your suit. Oh, nice. Got a waterfall. So the waterfall you can use to cool your suit, that's awesome. You, so the you can sensor. hover in the air Should if you are uh, just pushing the right thumbstick. And then uh, you can just uh, land as well by holding it in. You know you probably just orphan some baby rabbits there. <laughs> They're baby rabbits? What? How are they rabbits? They don't look like rabbits. <laughs> oh, we just killed some baby rabbits. <laughs> Wait there while I get a reading. No sign of scorpions, at least. They're aggressive yeah, today. Something else is coming out. What was that? Uh, Owen, what's going on? Why are all the birds leaving? I'm working on it. Not good. Possible shaper energy detected. Get to the next sensor. We can narrow it down. Uh... Birds might have had the right idea. What they say? Shaper. Shaper energy. I wonder what that is. That'd be interesting. Oh, and how bad 
could this get? You were in the heart of rage, weren't you? Don't even think it. See these ruins? There's a theory a shaper relic flipped gravity for a day. Uh-huh. Well, not on my watch. Lost sensors nearby, with wyverns circling. I see them. Vibrators. We still need to get a reading. Never heard of it. Put my suit down. Oh, whoa! Whoa! So he's fighting a wide man. Oh, whoa! This thing's a nasty. Alright. So let me have a look here real quick. Sorry, guys. I just want to just check what. Alright, so we've completed a quest. So early warnings. So we're just going to activate the last sensor. What was that about? So it's a rabbit. So rabbit is basically a rabbit. Okay. Doesn't look like a rabbit, does it? <laughs> uh, that's interesting. What's uh, what's the shapers? That's what I wanted to see. So the shapers, humanity's name for the supreme beings that created the world itself. It is a long-held belief that the shapers used the anthem of creation to build all aspects of our existence, but had to depart suddenly, leaving their tools behind and our world unfinished. So their exact numbers are not known. Interesting. So the shapers are the creators of the anthem. Interesting. Okay. I love that you can learn the history of the game. It's up more wider on you. Is. Everything's in a bad mood today. This could be their nesting area. Shouldn't be a problem for the mighty Gravit Killer. <laughs> so I'm gonna be known as the Gravit Killer now because I've killed a couple of Gravits. Hang in there, your jabbers can take some heat. Mostly. And uh, when it can't, uh, Oh wow, look at that. There's my ultimate. These things fly and breathe fire. Sport of some nasty shaper, but the whole world's a crazy zoo. The shapers had all sorts of tricks up their sleeves, but you do too. Use okay. your whole arsenal. Press RB to fire your home. You're persistent, I'll give them that. Poke a wyvern, and one of you will end up dead. Or barbecued. Oh crap! What? what shaper now? and geophagy, <laughs> an unstable relic in the area. Uh, Bad one. I've got a probable location. On it. Oh, let's go. Watertight seals are holding. Shall I call in more freelancers? No time. We can't risk this getting worse. I love that you can just swim. And don't forget, guys, the water does keep your uh, your javelin suit cool. That's why uh, it's always good to uh, Here we go. the waterfall. Shaker ruins. We're on the right trail. Looks like, like an that. echo lock we need to open. I've dealt with these. Look around at the floating lights. They're the echoes. Grab them and bring them to the door. Your javelin can hold three at a time. What is that? That's it. A fragment of anthem energy gone astray. Oh, nice. So it's uh, anthem energy. Okay. Got this, uh, You're getting the hang of it. You'll need more. Got one. Your suit can only hold three at a time. Take these over to the door. Ah, oh, so you use these to uh, open it's up working. the door. working. But you'd have to ask an arcanist why. You'll need more echoes. Oh, nice. Okay, so you've got to use the echoes. So that's what they call. Let's see if the door opens. Oh, nice. Ha! That did it. Grit. Impressive. Even 
looking for a shaper ruin. What's it for? Raise a mountain, carve out an ocean, spawn some new monstrosity? There has to be some reason for it all. It's the riddle of our world. And this one's waking up. I detect intense energy deeper in. Someone else made it down here. Though it doesn't look like they made it back out. Oh, nice. We've got two ranger plates. Got me! Painful looking? This room's never been mapped. I'll save the two guards, spawn <laughs> so you can't land down there. Alright, so uh, don't press B too many times just like I did. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Alright, still gotta watch out. I was like, whoa! <laughs> I was like, no, I can't die again. <laughs> That's the relic up there. Big one, too. He'll need to silence it. Where do I start? Some echoes have shaken loose. Find them and get them back in place. Right, so we're going to find all the echoes. Oh, you don't want to land in that. Come on. You know the drill. You'll need more. Tell, but the energy pockets oh. getting bigger. Something's forming in there. What is it? I mean, anything is possible. Just Look at the waterfalls. They're going backwards. Uh, that energy pocket there. Alright, right, so remember you can only carry three echoes at a time. Got to deliver them and then collect the other three once you uh, drop them off. It's working. Keep right, the echoes so coming, and it will collapse the energy pockets. We need three more. All right, so there's three there. Yay! Always fly through the water. It'll keep your suit cool. Just think, the anthem's being harnessed in there. Pure creation, something totally new forming. New and dangerous. Lay that on the shapers. It's still amazing. Silence it. So it's going to become a cataclysm event. Right. It didn't hold. I see. Damn, it's starting. You've got company. Owen, talk to me. Yes, I'm trying to work it out. Shaper energy still increasing. These are just a warm up, prelude to a cataclysm. 
Doesn't feel like a warm up. I told you anything's possible. You, you gotta power through it, things, or else it's gonna get a whole lot worse. I'm clear, Owen. Good. I think we can still stop this. Those fragments of the relic that blew out, grab them and put them back together. Oh, and fun wrinkle, more companies on the way. Got one. Now carry it over and put it in place. Fragment in. Now the others. Keep at it and you'll survive this. Almost certainly. Ah! <laughs> so you gotta wait for your uh, your suit. If you want to do melee attacks, you gotta wait for your suit to uh, basically uh, cool down, charge up, do an attack, do a melee attack. Owen, something in there is growling. Something biological. That's all I can say for sure. But well, I hope it's not the rabbit overlord. Ah, Scoot, what's going on, buddy? Um, the okay. game's awesome. Anything it's really, really good. I know, I know. It's amazing. You know, I Sorry, I was concentrating on getting those uh, <laughs> relics <laughs> into place. <laughs> it's amazing. Nah, it's a, it's a really great game. It's really good. There's a lot to learn in it as well, too, which is good. Thanks, Darren. Got it. Oh, wow. What is that thing? Well, at least now I've got a new story. That time a relic spawned a giant Ursix that almost... There's a giant Ursix. Yeah. Ah, you're welcome, man. You're welcome, Scoot. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, the game is amazing. Really good. Time to get back to Fort Tarsus. Too late, job. Well done. The only kind there is. I'm on my way. I like the music as well, too. It makes it, like, really dramatic. <laughs> Pretty awesome. There we go. We just completed the intro. Playstyle metal, nice. Soldier. One thousand nine hundred and fifty. All right, so we're level two now, so we should unlock the javelin. <laughs> I don't know about that one, Astra. Power level in. To level two, yes. See, we've got a new javelin unlocked. So, in four tasks, the selection is available to choose from one of the currently locked core javelins: Ranger, Colossus, uh, Storm, and Interceptor. No, I don't know about that one, uh, Ash. I, I, I can't, uh, can't answer that one. <laughs> uh. 
So we've done this so we've got the uh, Fulcrum. Level 2 is a common so damage is nine. Scatter shot scatter shot going. So we've got a common heavy pistol, the blast back, the Mauler, which is a common auto cannon. Cold burst common auto cannon. Common assault rifle, defender. And then relentless. So you can break them down if you don't want to keep them. So you can salvage them. Wow. Get rid of those because they're low level. That's kind of cool. Pretty cool. The music sounds awesome. It sounds like it's uh, it's like uh, like a Mediterranean Eastern music. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's different. <laughs> Here we go. So our character creation tutorial. So select a face for your pilot. Set your call sign. This is visible only to you and sets your pilot apart. Confirm your selection and start playing by pressing X. Okay. All right. Let's have a little pilot faces, shall we? All right. So we've got uh, a couple of different looking faces. Hmm. Interesting. He's got a nice scar. Another man with the scar. Interesting. Some interesting selections. We'll go with this one. This one looks a, a lot like me. Uh, just give him glasses and uh, a hat and he'll be perfect. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so. <laughs> We're going to set our call sign. Fort Tarsus, a last stop on the Bastion frontier. If it isn't my favorite answer, <laughs> I hear you've been busy. Ah, you know how it is, though. Another day, another disaster averted. <laughs> what have you done this time? Uh, Nothing. Darren, Darren, <laughs> Darren, 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 Darren. Probably. I hope. Uh, <laughs> you should uh, swing by uh, my amplifier in the underneath. Something wrong? No, 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 not wrong. Um, more like, uh, like fun. Drop on by whenever. It's pretty cool. So, like I was saying, guys, you can access your uh, your uh, shortcuts by pressing the uh, back button, which is or the select button, which is the two squares on your controller. And um, it's cool because you can learn different uh, different fates. So you can see there, we've got uh, mission completed. Completed. Say in progress award for successfully completing a mission. Complete a mission on normal difficulty. Reinforcement awarded for reinforcing other freelancers on missions. 
stronghold completes, a rewarder for successfully completing a stronghold, and then world events. Uh, so successfully completing world events in free play. Now, just remember, guys, if you do play in free play, um, that uh, it is not single player. You will be playing with uh, other people. Uh, the Mad Scientist, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Thank you. Cool name. Love the name. <laughs> what an awesome name. So we've got Weapon Master, Elite Slayer, and Weak Point Striker. So there's some really cool... No worries, you're welcome. Um, so we've got some awesome Karif uh, Fates, uh, Gurness Fates, and then Wyvina Fates. So there's some really cool Fates that you can do in the game. Um, and then we've got our, our critical objective. So find Owen in a freelance enclave. Um, so welcome to Fort Tars. That's where we are. Where we are. So uh, which is the game's uh, set. Actually, what was the other thing that we unlocked? Sorry, guys. I'm just quickly uh, having a look here. So salvage goods. Scavenging and recycling have been important parts of Bastion's life for centuries. In some settlements, creative scavenging is point of pride. The Memorial Gate of Fort Tarsus is fashioned from repurposed striders and moon clock Antium. Uh, it reportedly made from the early javelin creations of Arden Vassa. Nice. That's cool. What's the... Uh, the Yor 6 was the uh, the big beast that we uh, we just faced just before. That was interesting. So, uh, Glorious Predator. Humongous and highly aggressive. The Yor 6 will stop at nothing to put you on the menu. <laughs> one, one hit from their massive arms can turn your javelin into a scrap metal. Wow. That's crazy. It's really cool, that. I definitely don't want to face one of those again. Anthem crea creations so echoes pieces of anthem creations that often exist the semi animate globes of energy. Interesting. Shapers. Shapers relics. Instruments left behind by the shapers. When they abandon the world they created, varying in shape, size, and purpose. Relics are powered by the anthem creation. Interesting. Shaper ruins. Massive ancient shaper constructs. Scattered throughout our world, ruins are classified uh, differently than relics. Yeah. General Helen Tarsus, first lancer and leader of the Legion of Dawn. Helena Tarsus is humanity's most reverend and celebrated hero. Wow, okay. Ah, so her husband's Garold, the Chronicler. Mm. And Legion of Dawn. Lancers who first created javelins fought back against Yugoth, oppressors, and uh, won humanity's freedom. Okay. Interesting. And then, uh, I can learn about your story as well, too. So, write your story. That's pretty good. I do like that. Alright, what else have we unlocked? So the Rulven. So imagine narcissing teeth coming at you over and over again in quick succession. <laughs> Interesting. Is there an armory? Okay, so assault rifle, so we've got the defender. So the defender is a standard issue, free lancer assault rifle, medium striking power combined with good rate of fire, making this a solid choice for most combat situations. Okay, so we have an assault rifle, auto cannons, so the cold cloud burst. And then the Mauler. So the Mauler is an auto cannon heavy hitter. Hmm. Heavy pistols. The blast back, which we saw before in the picture. So it's cool. You can actually read up on the guns and learn a little bit of background about them. And learn about their high rate fire and uh, solid damage capabilities. Hmm. So obviously if you read about these guns, it gives you an idea of what you want to use uh, in the world of Anthem when you go out in missions. Oh wow. There you go. So this is what you need to craft a grenade. So to craft a common, uncommon, rare, epic. That's kind of cool. So you need five epic embers. Frost shards. 
I like that it goes into like really good detail to tell you exactly what you need. So to make an epic, you need 20 Chimerica Alloy Chromer Compound, 10 weapon parts and 5 epic embers. Prosperity. Might Valor Resolve. It's kind of cool. I like that. Alright, let's go back. Alright, let's look around the town here. Alright, what's this young lady got? Look who's back in one piece. Zo. Thanks, Zoe. Do you expect me in more pieces <laughs> than one? You? Never. I trust you've brought me work. Always good to give your javelin the once over after a run. What have you done this time? Oh, you get to choose the dialogue. Flattery, cool. huh? You must have done a number out there. Mm. Do you remember, guys? This is done Are by uh, Bioware, crazy? and uh, it's distributed Scars, by EA. Beasts, relic-based nonsense. Cards. Some people stay on this. Side Bioware of the do a great job uh, creating these games. Well, it's since really you love good. running into that kind of stuff, you better be careful. Careful helps me survive. My javelin gets me through. The job's got its risks, but keep my eyes open. That's what I like to hear. I'll run you some maintenance checks. Thank you. Only the best for my favorite freelancer. I bet Thank everyone's you very your favorite. <laughs> I have a complex <laughs> ranking system, and you have better places to be. Go on, then. Wow. This place is huge. Let's have a look around. So what's this, uh, pers oh, hold on, what's this guy? Add to Cortex. Interceptor unlocked. Created as a scout suit for exploration and diplomatic missions, the Interceptor is the most agile and acrobatic javelin. A Lancer can find lightning fast, close range co attacks combined with specialized weaponry will thrill Lancers who crave speed on the battlefield. Assassin Blades. So, uh, which is what I was talking about before for their ultimates. It's kind of cool. Oh, wow. Okay, so the vault tutorial. Everything you collect or salvage is stored here. Manage your inventory. Move items onto the junk tab or convert them to salvage straight away from inventory. In the junk tab, you can mass salvage items. Okay. All right. Ah, there you go. Got no grenade launchers. So you got heavy pistols, shotguns, assault rifles, marksman rifles, machine pistols, light machine guns, sniper rifles, and then auto cannons, and then grenade launchers. So there's quite a lot of weapons that you can get in the game. Um, and then you've got your components as well too. So you can see here, so you've got your uh, your basic Ranger, Colossus, Storm, and Interceptor. Uh, then your gear as well. And then crafting. So you can see this is where you, you can see what crafting material you've got. So we've got quite a lot. Uh, which is really cool. Alright, is there anywhere else that we can look around? So we're finding some stuff. That's what I mean. Like, it's always good to explore. Just have a look around and uh, see if you can uh, hey, locate any of those. What's that, that over there? The oh, nice. See what I mean by looking around? We just found another... Ranger Unlocked, commonly used by frontline fighters, this reliable javelin has well-rounded offensive defensive capabilities due to an even balance of armor and speed. The Ranger's propulsion pack can launch quick air strikes on unsuspecting foes as well as navigating challenging terrains during exploration. Micro missiles. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if uh, we can find any other helmets. Interesting. There's going to be some others around. Well, can't go this way. <laughs> it's a dead end. Let's go up here. Nope, nothing.
<laughs> oh, that's awesome, Darren. What'd you get? <laughs> Definitely need to uh, keep exploring here because you can. Where's the other helmets? There's gotta be other helmets around. Man, there's so much stuff here. Hi. You waiting to get in too? Why are the doors closed? Quarantine. What else is new? On which side? This side. A freelancer brought in tainted cargo or something. I'd rather we weren't poisoned or start a cataclysm. Sure. Me neither, obviously. I was kind of joking. I'm a little cranky. I love the NPCs. I think NPCs. Sentinels take any opportunity Very, to mess with uh, freelancers. Isn't it their job to protect the fort? Yeah. I just wish... Really interesting. <laughs> I mean, I was born here. Fort Tarsus used to be great. People used to look down on the fort because it wasn't Antium or Fremark. But I think it was better. But you were a kid. Exactly. My brother Kismet and I used to climb that scaffolding just to watch the Striders come and go. Then the market would fill up with happy people and cool things to buy. It even seemed sunnier. Hmm, might be my imagination. Though it was before the Heart of Rage. So, poor Fort Tarsus. It's kind of a crap heap now. Not sure why I keep coming back. It's hard to give up on home, even if you should know better. You're right. Does that make me foolish? Is it okay if I don't answer that? <laughs> <laughs> well, everything I own is on the other uh. side of these doors. It looks like I'm stuck here. But you should save yourself. Okay. Good luck. I'm Freelancer Johnny, by the way. See you around. It's cool. So they introduce themselves. That's interesting. All right, let's look around and see if we can find these other helmets. Did she make it back? So we found two helmets so far. We just need to find two more. They've taken that route before. Since when does that matter? It's interesting. Ah, oh, there you go. There's another helmet, is there? Yep. Shape of relics. Ah, oh, it's a shape of relic. It's the instrument left behind by the shapers when they bend the world. Oh, we already read this bit. So there's got to be other um, daily trials, weekly trials, monthly trials. Ooh, what do we got here? All right, let's have a look and uh, see what we get. Daily trials. So successfully complete strongholds. Okay, so that's daily. What's the weekly one? So Dominion defeats 500. Scar defeats 500. Outlaw defeats. What's the monthly ones? So complete path to glory challenges before time runs out. Oh wow, so there's what? So there's got to be some other stuff around upstairs. Hold on. Sorry guys, I just want to have a quick look around. So there's got to be other stuff that we can look at. Got that one. Anything up here? Well, I'm glad that I did uh, come back up because I would have never seen. Ah, there you go. The Colossus. This heavy armor javelin is a cornerstone of human society and is used in various occupations including industrial work, deep sea diving, and heavy transport. Though slower than the other models, this javelin can withstand a punishing amount of damage in battle. You can count on the Colossus to hold the line and disperse threats with tremendous strength in close combat. Ooh, nice. That's really cool. Oh, what's this? So what I mean, it's it's good to look around because like I'm finding heaps of stuff. Striders, so the striders are actually the transporters. So they actually transport you into the into the uh, 
to the world, which is pretty cool. Interesting. Alright, so we just need to find the last helmet. Where is the last helmet? It's gotta be here somewhere. to be around because there's four different javelins so it's gonna be here somewhere oh. That's not it. maybe on no this is gonna be it's gonna be close by it has to be Found one up there. Is it over here? So anything of interest that can be added to the cortex um, is uh, basically just it will come up like with a uh, sort of like a magnifying glass, and uh, you can add it to your cortex. Downstairs, maybe. I think we've looked everywhere here. I don't think there's anything else. Alright, we'll go downstairs. I'm sure we'll find it later. I do like the trials though. Where did I miss a Timbo? Where was it? Where was it? Because I, I found the one that was downstairs, and I found the one upstairs, and I found the one in the, uh, near the workshop, up top. Whereabouts? Because I got this one over here. There's one more. Right. There was one that was here, and we got that one. There's another helmet somewhere. There's one more. Alright, I stopped. <laughs> uh. Straight, what, up here? Nope. Straight here. <laughs> okay, so we've got that one. So that's the shapers. Alright, so we've already, we've already learned about them. What we want is, is we want the... Uh, Want the other helmet? Where is it? What's this other helmet? Nah, it's all right. That's fine, Timbo. All good. Just trying to find the last one, but that's alright, we'll find it later. I want to continue on. I want to see what happens. Big job, yes? Decent. An obvious number. Oh, 
Let's talk to this young guy. So I talk to Owen. Yeah, you see what I mean? You picked up on that, right? A little warble. It's warbling, right? All readings fall within acceptable tolerances. You gotta look past the numbers for once in your life. Something is off. The connection is a bit fuzzy. How do you quantify fuzzy? You don't quantify fuzzy? You don't measure it, you don't count it, it's nothing like that. It's, it's a feeling. Everything okay here, Owen? Yeah, well, on your last mission, I noticed that the cipher chair was giving off some very strange feedback. All readings fall within acceptable tolerances. Well, no, it's your call, but if you ignore it and something goes wrong... I will find an arcanist and perform a full protocol inspection on this unit. <laughs> uh, There's nothing wrong with the chair, is there? No. Why are you always stirring up trouble? What are you talking about? I've just done her a massive favor. You've got no idea how boring it is being a Fort Cipher. She does not get to work with a freelancer. She does not get to see the world through the eyes of a javelin pilot. No, 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 no. You know what she gets to do? She gets to relay official messages back and forth to Cyphers at the Capitol day after day after day. Some people like boring. Not everyone's cut out to be a freelancer. So you have said. But you have to admit that last mission would have gone better with a partner. I have a partner. You. Every good javelin pilot needs a cipher. That is not what I meant. Look, if I had a suit of my own, I could be out there in the field with you. Hold down your boosters, Hotshot. With more training, you'll get your chance, I promise. Fine. Not like we could afford a spare suit anyway. The job board is empty. We'll figure something out. We always do. Yeah. Do you ever regret missing out on the glory days? Back when freelancers were treated like heroes. Contracts would just fall into their laps. Everywhere they went, they were given respect. And free sandwiches. Free sandwiches. Free sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, I'm having that much. I'm starving. We're on a tight budget here. Budget has room for sandwiches. You're probably right. Uh, you know what? Why don't you uh, head over to the forge, get your javelin tuned up, so we're ready to roll if a contract does fall into our laps. Cool character. Owen's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. It's pretty good. Nothing like a free lunch, yep. <laughs> uh, so freelancer loyalty one. Complete activities that further the freelancer career cause. The work you do will help Enclave grow and expand more amplifiers and use more freelancers to return to glory days. Alright, so loyalty rewards. Uncommon universal component blueprints. Rare universal component blueprints. Epic universal component blueprints. Wow. Alright, so you can find some cool stuff here. Alright, let's have a look around. So we're going back to our javelin. Ah. Oh. See what your awards have waiting for you. Learn how to claim them here. Learn combat basics. Welcome to Anthem Now, Suit Up Freelancer. Fine tune your javelin as an EA access member. Nice. It's kind of cool. Alright, so ciphers. So we've got uh, more stuff there. So you can learn a, a lot about the world by exploring the, uh, the ruins and stuff, which is cool. I should say explore Fort Tarsus. <laughs> what a name. Interesting name. Alright, so we're gonna get to know the oh, forge. Hey, why team ballistic, about? how are you? I just got a message from you saying to meet you Thanks at the forge. I didn't send any. Hope you well. Why would I want to meet up here? Something's not right. My name is Tassin. Do you always travel with a security escort? Not always. The Sentinels have their uses. Well, you make a hell of an entrance, I'll give you that. I have a contract for you, Freelancer. Ooh. I'd like to know who I'm working for before I take a job. Really? <laughs> From what I hear, the two of you will take about any job you can get these days. What's the job? 
An arcanist has gone missing. Missing? I thought arcanists just hung out in labs studying Shaker relics. <laughs> Matthias Sumner was investigating some relics at a ruin near the fort. I need you to find him and bring him back home safe. If he's still alive. No one knows more about the dangers of Shaper artifacts. I'm confident that knowledge and his own resourcefulness will keep him alive until you find him. What do you say, Freelancer? I'll make it worth your while. Going? Looks like the Freelancer's right again. Well, us anyway. Yeah. Excuse me, I just got a... Excuse me, interesting. That is excellent. I will then run my diagnostics. Let me know when you're ready to leave. It was a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> uh. On behalf of myself and Matthias, thank you for doing this. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, have... ballistic. Find Matthias. Trust me. I'm a person you want to know. Ooh, is that a threat? <laughs> oh, too funny. Nah, it's alright, right, T. It's all good, man. Don't apologize. It's all good, but all, all good. Um, the bots are a bit sensitive. <laughs> uh. Right, so I'm gonna activate the forge. Let's have a look. Fire can melt frozen effects. Alright, here we go. So Javelin I'll unlock. Uh, Tassin has given you resources to replace your old Javelin. Choose carefully. You'll be using this suit until your new Javelin class becomes available at level 8. Even if you restart the game. Wow! That is crazy! Mad scientists. Sounds like something else. Ah. Right. Okay, so... Who am I going to choose? Oh, I only got one unlock, so I've got to be careful. So we've got Storm, Ranger, Colossus, or Interceptor. Interceptor looks really cool. Oh, they're lightning fast, though. Special weaponry. Oh, this is a hard choice. Hard choice. So we've got the Storm, we've got the Ranger, and we've got the Colossus. Um... Oh, I don't know who to choose. Yeah, it's real hard. Yeah, it's real hard because you got you only get, you got to level it up to level eight to get the next one. So uh, I want to be careful with what I choose. Mm. Storm, you reckon? Storm looks pretty cool though. I like the I like the interceptor though as well. Interceptors looks like it's uh be a lot of fun. <laughs> Man, this is a hard decision. <laughs> Alright, we'll go with Storm. Storm Javelin unlocked. It's got lightning, ice and other elemental attacks. This should be good. This should be a good one. Thanks for your help, guys. <laughs> so loadout tutorial. Uh, use the loadout tab to change weapons, parts, gears, and gear. Create custom loadouts in the javelin menu by pressing Y. Press A to unlock on unlock tabs to switch your equipment. L to move the camera. Right to circle around a suit. Right trigger, left trigger to zoom in and out. Switch appearances by pressing the RB button to customize your look. That is cool. Alright. Support seal. Scout power one. Slot two locked. So as you level up your suit, you unlock slots. Um, so you can carry more weapons and stuff. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool. And then your components. Interesting. Wow, look at that. I like that you can zoom in and stuff, it's kind of cool. Interesting. Leave all the mess out here? You can't turn around right. without like so we're going to launch the expedition now. Let's do this. Oh, 
All right, so there we go. So we're gonna go to we're gonna look for the uh, lost arcanist. So you can see there. So expedition tutorial review missions, difficulty levels, and privacy settings are uh, by pressing the right thumbstick. Last acquired mission is automatically selected, or select a new mission title and new objective on the map. Invite by players by pressing the RB button and the squad page, and launch mission uh, by pressing the X button. Okay, that is kind of cool. So you can actually change the difficulty if you like. Yeah. So you got your free play. Now remember, when you do play free play, um, you can explore and stuff, but you, it is not single, like you can't go in there by yourself. You have to have other people with you. Um, and then strongholds. Completing finding old friends to unlock. Yeah. And quick play random mission. Complete lost arcanist to unlock. Okay. Complete finding old friends to unlock. Okay. Oh, so you can change your mission here. So, your expedition map tutorial to play a mission or enter a stronghold of free play, select the icon. Press A, squad leader can access all missions available to squad members. Caution, may contain missions you have not completed. Missions from friends will appear on your map. Jump in and help. Oh, that is cool. So, if your friend hasn't completed a particular mission, you can help them with it. That is really cool. Wow, look how big this map is. It's Ruins of Shadowmark, Fortress of Dawn. Wow, it looks like they uh, they could be adding stuff to it as well too. Interesting. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. Social tutorial. Select A on an empty slot and open your friends. Your friends list, favorites, or recommend a list to invite players. Those who respond first get a slot until the squad is full. You do not need a full squad to play. Ah, that's pretty cool. So you do not need a full squad to play. You can just play by yourself if you like. Um, and uh, that's kind of cool. So I've got three power, common ranger. Hmm. All right, let's launch. kind of cool so the lightning fast interceptor is the most agile javelin <laughs> cross play on this uh no there is not timbo a go go unfortunately It is uh it is in 4K though, uh, native 4K on the Xbox One X. It's really cool, really nice. Bioware have done a really great job with the game though. It's really good. It's really good. Very smooth, especially the flying. Same. <laughs> it looks amazing. <laughs> so sharp. <laughs> wow. Here we are, freelancer. Jumbled. You ready to jump in? Yes, I am. Well, well then, let's not keep that big bad world waiting. Our contract is to locate an arcanist named Matthias. Tassin has given us the last location where he made contact. This is uh. Location Tassin gave us must be close. I'm detecting the camp's shortwave radio. Not seeing anyone. Oh, and anything? No, lots of broken equipment. Obviously, Arcanist made. Otherwise, no, nothing but the radio. And no Matthias. Just looking around. 
any material oh, that I might need. Detecting another radio. Same frequency. Must be more than one camp. Let's follow that signal. Please do stick around guys, we are going to give away a one month code for EA access so you'll be able to access um, the Anthem trial. Um, so please do stick around, we'll do that very very soon and uh, hopefully you're a winner. So uh, definitely stick around guys, stick around. Trail. We'll need to get to the location I've marked for better reception. Okay. Anything else I should know? Besides that Arcanists get themselves in trouble by being out here. About Matthias? Brilliant and reckless. He has a reputation among the Arcanists. Not a good one. Having a bad reputation is chapter one of the Freelancer's Handbook. Freelancer loyalty, nice. Right, so we've just unlocked the Tarsus Forest. Oh, nice. Okay, so we've just got a Chimeric Compound. So that's what I mean. It's always good to look around for these materials. You need it for crafting. So you can craft like weapons and stuff like that, and armor and kinds of things. Let's have a look here. Stronger. Clearly, Matthias established more than one camp. Oh, I see that. Right. Oh, no. Arcanus. Yes. Matthias. No, he's not here. Look for anything that can help track him down. Lightning? Yeah, it's lightning. <laughs> oh, no way. I was like wondering what it was. I was like... That's where the signal is coming from. We can use it to help search for another camp. It'll take time. Okay, get started. Seems location. quiet out here. Maybe. What the hell? An ambush! It's the scars, damn scavengers! Multiple signals, they are everywhere! Are you done with the radio? No, still working on it. Destroy any hives that pop up, that can cut off reinforcements. Hives being more scars. Got it. Oh, nice. Remaining scars. Radio signal. <laughs> Still working on it. Open the master, nice, look at that. Just fiddling with the radio signal for the next location. Oh, stair fist. Hurry up. Of course, lots of stake, I know. More hives. I noticed. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. The lining is just so good. 
So if you press LB, you can do a lightning strike. You do have to wait for it to cool down, though. Make sure you destroy any hives you see. Ah, oh, critical failure. No! Oh, that's a hard one. Scars is to destroy their hives. I like the ice shards. That's kind of cool. to stop the scars is to destroy their hives. Oh no! Oh. Yeah, bring in the rain. <laughs> oh, so good. He's pretty cool though, I like his elements, like the elemental part of his uh, javelin, it's really cool. The fact that you know you can bring a lightning strike and just like literally take most of the health off is really awesome. But obviously I'm still low level so I need to level up a lot more on my uh, pilot. Make sure you destroy any hives you see. See. That's the last of those horrible things. Now finish off the remaining scars. Yeah, you were. Where are you? <laughs> didn't hear you. Pretty I think good. I found another camp. Pretty okay, good choice, let's man. Go. Pretty good choice. It's a good character. Like, it's, a, it's a good suit. Like, it's a good job. Like I said, you need to level him up a little bit more, but... Nothing. Just lost the radio right. signal. We need a signal booster. Wait! Found one. Scars. I've never seen this much scar activity. What is going on? I don't know, but it's not a good sign. Ah, is uh, is a little hard.
need stronger items and artifacts. Should be close. All you need to do is turn it on. What else is there? Uh, signal booster is working. I'm heading up the stairs hoping to find refuge. Scars in pursuit. Matthias? No. You still can't hear us. I've got a location. Derek, what's going on, buddy? What's happening? Thanks for joining us. Taking it apart. We fixed that. I bet we reached Matthias. Seems to be the last 
the stars. Let's fix that radio. What needs to happen? Get me into the access panel, I'll do the rest. Yeah, 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 we're playing Anthem. We're playing Anthem, Red Evil. There. Playing Anthem, buddy. It's really good. Okay, done. Starting repairs. Oh, that doesn't look like a repair. Would you just let me? Ugh, damn it. Hang on, we've got company. Can it be fixed? Uh oh. Yes, of course. Just deal with the scars, I'll figure it out. Oh, here we go. Let's deal with the scars. I love his ultimate. His ultimate is so good. Yeah. yeah. No way. Ah! This is going for sir. Watch out for the flamethrower! We play a variety of different games, uh, Red Evil Dead. You'll see that in March, buddy. Thanks, Red Evil Derek. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Triple kill, nice. Whoa. These things are quick. Ah, Queasy Eagle. Try to hover more a storm. He gets more shield when doing so. Also, use abilities more. They have good cooldowns. Friendly tip. Thanks, Queasy. Appreciate the tip, man. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, it is. It seems to be. It seems to be more ability focus. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. It's amazing. It 
Really good, Bob. Here we go. Thank you, Repugnant. Thank you for the follow. Red Evil, thank you for the follow. Matthias, can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. I'm getting a read on his radio signal. Are you okay? A little banged up, but fine. You see that ramp up ahead? Stick around, guys. We're going to do a uh, giveaway very soon. So please don't go anywhere. I mean, always look around. Make sure that you do look around. You never know what you're going to find in here. Hey, Repugnant Rex. Thank you. Got a swarm here. Less for Matthias to deal with. So good. 
More incoming. Watch those hives. Oh no! Ah. Uh. Okay, so use the RB ability to prime targets, then he'll be to detonate. There's lots of exclusive made for that. Ah, okay. Good to know. Thank you, uh, Queasy. Standing next to it <laughs> again. <laughs> Gotta stay away from it. Gotta stay away from it. Ah, oh, so crazy. Oh. Gotta be careful of that. Gotta be careful of that. That is amazing. So much fun. Thanks again, uh, Queasy, for the pro tips, man. Running to the wall. 
Matthias, come in the tunnel. You're close. Main chamber just ahead. It's incredible. Nice. So we just found some storm parts. Nice. So what I mean by making sure that damage. you do look around the, the area. Has been busy. Because uh, you can find some really cool items for your uh, character. Oh, more material harvest minerals. Yes. Homeric alloy. Yeah, that'll come in handy. <laughs> oh, incredible. Too many ways to add to their numbers if needed. Be careful! I'm trying. Oh, nice car eradicator. Nice. That one's completed. Excellent. Share it, buddy. Take it easy, man. Like I said, uh, stick around, guys. We're going to do a giveaway soon. Thank you, Crazy, for the follow as well. We're going to give away a one-month uh, code for Scar EA access. Have to keep moving. Don't argue that. Uh, we'll Close quarters. Careful. Again, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you do have any questions about uh, Anthem, please do put it in chat. And, uh, thank you for joining us. Look out! I don't know what it is, but it looks dangerous. Rust Reaver, the thing's name is Rust Reaver. I don't care what its name is. Combo Master 1, nice. Getting a lot of combos here.
How did he get up here so quick? Billies can be primers of dead names, never as indicated. Okay, now so, uh, sorry, so ability, oh, abilities can be primers of detonators and neither is indicated in the corner of the ability icon. With the pull point staff for detonators, circles for primers. Nice. That's awesome, man. Thanks. We find it? Here, right here. These scars. I don't know what to think. Arcanists and scars often clash over shaper sites, but nothing like this. I must tell Tassin. Please. I need to return to Fort Tarsus. Yay, Lost Ark and a mission ends in a couple of seconds. It's insane. Yay! <laughs> Two lines, but I'm sad. Nice. Part level increased to level three. Yes. It's weapon slot unlocked. Second weapon slot has been unlocked in the forge. Yay. Alright. Lines T2. Ooh, ice blast, common blast seal. to go forge or for Tarsus. What's the forge? Let's have a look. Thanks Timbo, go go. <laughs> like I said stick around guys, we'll do the giveaway in the next couple of minutes.
and uh, give you guys a chance to win a uh, one month EA access code so you can uh, play Anthem or uh, access a whole bunch of other games in the vault. So what do we got? Some weapons. Let's have a look. Alright, so it's got, it's got a common marksman rifle. So it does 36 damage. So what do we got? So, okay, equip tutorial. This inventory is a javelin specific. Press A on items you want to equip. Compare currently equipped items on right with selected items on left. Salvage item for crafting materials by holding X. Oh, nice. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got some... Uh... Oh, wow, look at that. Devastated common sniper rifle. Damage 167. Hellstorm, common machine gun, machine pistol. Common assault rifle. RPM and ammo is a lot faster, a lot bigger. Common heavy pistol. Marksman rifle. Scout level 2. That's only one ammo. What can I craft? I can't craft anything. Warden assault rifle. Yeah, we'll go with that one. We'll go with the warden assault rifle. Oh, we'll scrap it. Salvage that. Because the pistols we won't use. Keep the rest. And then we'll put another weapon in here. We'll put the sniper rifle. Because that way then we've got that as well. The devastator. That sounds cool. Alright, so we've now added two weapons. So slots locked for that. Focus seal, let's have a look. So we've now made that level three. Lightning strike. Oh, we can make that the ice blast. Nice. Okay. Ah, here we go. Appearance tutorial. There are many ways to change your appearance of your javelin. Explore new materials, colors, animations to start. Add finishing touches like level of wear, vinyls, and metal plating. Use coins or shards to purchase new appearance items. Nice. Okay, let's have a look. So. Oh, wow. Here we go. So, unlock tutorial. New appearances and materials can be unlocked. Some are purchased through the store or forge. Others are unlocked through challenges. Unlock appearance items with coins or shards. Unlock... Unlocked items are displayed in the appearance section of the forge. Wow, 14,000 gold for the Banshee Helmet. And then the Seeker Armor Pack is uh, 61,000. It's epic. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Interesting. And then you've got uh, Banshee and then the Seeker. The Seeker one looks really good. Five vinyls. Oh wow, N7. You can add the N7 vinyl. That'd be pretty cool. Nova. Interesting. The vinyls are pretty good. Ah, oh, Queasy Eagle, man, you're gonna love it. It's so good. Stick around, uh, cause we're gonna be giving away a um, EA access code, so you'll be able to play it early, early access. So. Uh, We'll uh, be giving that away shortly. Legs. Look at this. This is incredible. Alright, change colors materials. Here we go. Ah, it's primary soft. Oh, nice. That is cool. I love the bare metal, that's pretty nice. Oh wow, look at this. Bay battered. Yeah. Wow. That is incredible. Let's 
kind of cool the stuff that you can uh, change on the uh, Can't javelin. Can't let you go unprepared. Wow. That is really good. Alright, let's, uh, while we're waiting to load back in, let's get the giveaway ready. Here we go, guys. All right, so giveaway for a uh, one month EA Access card. So all you got to do is just type Xbox in order to enter. Just type Xbox in chat. And good luck, guys. Good luck. And uh, we've got more giveaways a bit later on. So uh, definitely uh, make sure that you are tuning in. <clears throat> all right, let's have a chat with the young lady. Freelancer. Thanks for the save. Good luck, everybody. That trouble was unexpected. <laughs> you often and if you're on one of our retailer sites, like guys, you can enter as well. Hazard. All you do is just click on the different. chat icon Something's and just type Xbox in the chat. I think it's the and uh, you can enter we the giveaway. And if you guys have sure got any questions, no please do put own. it in chat. <sighs> I'm more than happy to answer any questions right. you've got. And uh, thank you for the pro like tips from Queasy as well. It's been greatly appreciated. I don't really know the whole story. I do. Loving the game so far. It's just amazing. Much of what story. I am about to tell you is not well known. My ward, Johnny, was there ten years ago. She saw it with her own eyes. What you will already know is that Fremont was one of the great cities of Bastion. Ancient, proud, prosperous, but most important, it held the largest and greatest enclave of freelancers anywhere. The freelancers, along with the Sentinels, guardians of the walls, protected Freemark and its people from the chaos of our world. Until one day, the Dominion arrived on their doorstep. Cruel conquerors from the north. The Sentinels and the Freelancers would make their claim for Fremont that day. Each group heirs in their own right to the legendary General Tarsus and her Legion of Dawn. That is cool. Freelancer Adams led the charge as the Enclave leapt to meet the Dominion forces head on. Oh. Good luck, everybody. My Johnny says the army was massive. The Dominion was if you just led by Doctor Welcome. Harkin, Thank you for tuning in to Interact Studios. If you've got any questions, please do put it in chat. Day, if you're on one of our retailers' uh, websites, please do click on the chat icon. And uh, guys, we are doing a giveaway right now, so uh, if you'd like to enter, all you got to type is Xbox so in chat, and uh, you can enter that giveaway. We are giving away a one-month code for EA Access, so you can download a trial for Anthem, and uh, give it a go, and uh, play through it. Uh, it's, a, it's an astonishing game, and this looks absolutely gorgeous. Well for a time. a lot of fun unlocking our javelin. We now got our javelin to uh, level three. So we're 
we've unlocked the second weapon slot. And, uh, we are using the Storm Javelin, and uh, it's pretty cool how uh, it uses the uh, elementals to uh, its abilities. But the walls of the Great Free Mark did not hold. The no, Dominion no. poured in. <laughs> Adams, with many freelancers, made their last stand outside the city walls. While some, like Johnny, stayed to help who she could. When, without warning, the doomed sentinels fell back. Oh, wow. But now I tell you that deep in the city, Johnny discovered what the sentinels already knew. The Dominion didn't want to destroy Freemark. They wanted to capture an ancient shaper relic that was protected deep in. Congratulations, Timbo Go Go. You have the 90 Senno seconds to claim your prize, buddy. All you gotta do is type exclamation mark claim. And uh, congrats on winning. Oh wow. This thing is just destroying everyone. Alright, see you, Queasy. Timber go go, you there? Doctor Harkin congratulations. He had a way hey, for the congratulations, buddy. The if you could whisper me your gamer tag, and we'll send that to you very shortly. Oh, I'm not in a clan at the moment, Red Evil. Allegiance, they're called. Arrogance. Alliance, sorry, I should say. <laughs> Alliance. <laughs> Allegiance Alliance. <laughs> the terrible cataclysm, which was unleashed that day, destroyed Freemark. You're welcome, Timbo. You're destroyed welcome, buddy. the domain. We'll send that to you shortly. Destroyed everything. Alright, cool. Alright, no worries, Timbo. That cataclysm became the heart of rage. Some there survived to tell There's the, the story backstory of the cataclysm. But not many. Dominion must be back for a reason. I clearly have more intel to hunt down. Come and find me later. Yeah, nice. me too. I'll contact you when I have something. I'll be in the enclave. How cool is that? Okay, guys, um, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have a quick break, um, but we will be back. So thank you so much. Um, so uh, it is greatly appreciated. So please uh, save your questions for when we do return. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, and congratulations to our first winner today for uh, uh, winning the uh, EA access for one month. Uh, Timbo Gogo will send that. And uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So uh, we're going to take a quick break. Like I said, uh, please do check your local retailers. Uh, the game is available as of today. And uh, it is absolutely awesome. Um, please, if you haven't already, go to our about page. We have a few of our favorite retailers on there as well, too. So they are awesome tiles. So please do check them out. And uh, we'll be right back. Um, and uh, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll uh, see you shortly. <laughs>